pudding next. First layer of the pudding, I'm going to put some papaya in there. Mm. Yum. And pineapple. So with pineapples, you can often just twist the top off. <laughs> and actually a ripe pineapple will come up in sections, all these little sections, and you can eat it like in little pieces. So a lot of people aren't sure how to peel a pineapple. And I always say just really hack into it like you mean it. And it's okay to leave the peelings uh, kind of thick because if you go really shallow, you're going to still have a bunch of the peel on there. Actually, if you stick the top of a pineapple into a planter, it'll grow another pineapple plant. And that's nice to know. You can harvest your own pineapples. And for the pudding, I am not going to use much water for the pudding because I want it to be thick. So this one, I know the pineapple is really juicy and so is the mango, I mean the papaya. I'm not going to use any water at all. And you'll notice me put some chia seeds right into the blender when it starts going. One banana. There's the first layer. And the second layer, I, I didn't put greens in this because I wanted the color difference. So the second layer is going to be green. I'm going to take the stems out of the kale, especially if it's, it was more mature than this. I'd take the stems out because the stems have starch and it's not very good. Food combining with the fruit can cause some gas. So I'm going to take the stems out and you can just grab the stem and and strip the whole leaf off, like this. Um, so I take the stems off of all of the greens from the cabbage family, such as collards and all the kales, and I take the stems off of chard, I mean silver beet. And uh, that's it. The other stems, I leave them all on, like spinach and all those finer stems are fine to just leave on. So this is the second layer. I'm going to put a a pear in there? Why? Why am I putting a pear in the smoothie? It's creamy. Salt. To make it creamy because it has soluble fiber. Pear in there. <coughs> Two bananas. A few dates. And I'm going to put some water in this because my fruits aren't wet enough to blend by themselves. Um, 
It's also fun to put a little mint in there so that when you eat it, you get a little bite of mint. And I'll put an umbrella on there, whatever it takes to get your family excited about greens.